Bruva stood by the bridge like a statue, arms crossed, eyes squinting. Elder in chief, sir. No Sharon and Grayson here, lass. You think you're due glory, do you? Monsters? What do you think? Why didn't I? For you. For I didn't want to. For something didn't affect, damn it. So I postponed it all those years expressly. I didn't need no lectures from the likes of you. And now it's all gone to hell. You flooded divorce the best. My sincere apologies. I did not know. Course you didn't. Schumanns. First thing. I'm most eager to give that breed of yours a yank and kick you out beyond the gate. But I canna. For the clans are grateful to you. Fools. They forced me to give you an audience. Official like. With witnesses. Come on then. Time to move on. But I'm going to. Bruver set off at a brisk pace, cursing under his breath. Dwarves demonstrate innovative thinking in many domains. Metallurgy, engineering, architecture. Yet there is one in which they couldn't. The Queen and her retinue were nearing Mount Carbon when Meave heard a cry. It was Xavier. Hold! Hold! Meave drew in her reins abruptly. Her mare neighed and reared, lifting the Queen above her formation of men. From that height, she saw the last pier of the bridge crump. The queen was striving to calm her spooked mount when she sent something swish past her ear. Out of nowhere, a Scoia'tael band had appeared at the rear of the column. Before anyone could react, You are mine! We trapped you, Grace, but we can try and fight our way through. Nay, Duanve Kamest. You must sweat like a swine in that jacket. I'd hoped we could solve this some other way. Price. Just for you, love. Watch your heads. <laughs> I'll relieve you of that pouch. Show me the coin or sod off. can do whatever the devils you please? This is Mahakam! Death! 
to humans! Yeah. And just when you thought things were about to get dull. Their neck ends. Similian Vat. None shall tread on us. Serves a purpose. Their strength combined, the Lyrians and Dwarves managed to defeat the Scoia'tael. The guerrillas had weakened the last span of the bridge, turning the crossing into a deadly trap. What is your name, Elf? Abayeth met a past one. She said, uh... Thank you, Reynard. I know well what she's... Kiss my ass. Is that truly the best you can... I'd rather show you exactly what I can... You got your opportunity. On the battlefield. Will you not tell me what they call you? No one. It was my decision to kill you. Do you remember him? The elf whom you denied a bet? You've elven blood on your hands. The blood of the elves. Eldane was a criminal. He go You call him a criminal? What do you call humans who murder up? Do not dare compare us. Do not- Enough. I've heard all I wish to hear. But I have not. Did you fall in your heed, elf, eh? If you want to fight humans, go on and- You cannot be neutral. To Dwan, you- Mahakam has stood aside sleeping long enough. That is why we struck it in its very- I have kept him away. I've been bloody right to do so. You want to play at war, you- Yeah, I should kill you. With my own hands, I should- Well, I'll not grant you that. Ruva Hoog gazed after the shackled elf as she was led away. Neve expected him to continue fuming, cursing her, 